we have completed the post-gem RT Dynabead cleanup step. Next, we'll perform the cDNA amplification reaction. We have AMP mix, which we vortex, spin down briefly, and place on ice. Next, we will select the primers to use for the amplification. If only preparing a gene expression library, we select the cDNA primers from the Chromium NextGem Single Cell 3' Gem Kit V3.1. If preparing gene expression and feature barcode libraries, we will select one of the feature cDNA primers from the Single Cell 3' Feature Barcode Kit. Which of the feature cDNA primers you select depends on the application of interest. In this experiment, we are using Feature CDNA Primers 1. We select our cDNA primers, equilibrate to room temperature, vortex, briefly spin down, and return to room temperature. We're now ready to prepare the cDNA amplification reaction mix on ice. We will add the reagents in the order shown in the user guide. Calculate the volume of each reagent that you will need for your number of samples, including 10% reagent volume overage. First, we will add the ant mix to the tube. Then, we add the cDNA primers we selected previously. Vortex thoroughly and briefly spin down. Add 65 microliters cDNA amplification reaction mix to each tube containing 35 microliters of purified GEM RT product. Pipette mix 15 times and briefly spin down. Load the tube strip into a thermal cycler that can accommodate at least 100 microliters reaction volume and proceed with the following incubation protocol. Verify that the number of amplification cycles in the program is adjusted for your targeted cell recovery. This table is a recommended starting point for cycle number optimization. We've now completed the cDNA amplification and will proceed with the spry select cleanup. 